look, dude, a place, well, it's a wonderland, but, you know, we're gonna get to play it. Hold on. Louis Here we and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. In real life, too, apparently. Just kidding. What, what games did he have, though? That's what I want to know. What games did he have? And can I take this home? This is supposed to be a PlayStation, I'm sure. Like a PlayStation 1. Alright. Uh, he was on prescription medications. There's a lot of stuff here that says, Trust me. The Red King's Dream. The what? I don't even know. Some of that I can't read. We the Media. Oh, uh, he was a conspiracy theorist. Look, he's a PC gamer with a dual monitor setup back in the PlayStation 1 days. Alcohol, pill bottles. Alright, let's see. Yeah, he's got better setup than I do. Weed next to the thing here. Alright, let's look through his stuff. Let's find out what's going on. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh my god! He kept working at the family. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. I'm, I'm just sitting His here. His mind began to... Chop the fish's heads off. What? what is that? Wonder. Oh, he's treating it like a video game. Oh my god, this is hard. I'm doing this with two. You have to use both thumbsticks to do this. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Oh my god, this is taking like some then actual strategy here. Bites. I'm doing the fish with one thumbstick and the controller with the other. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. He took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. <laughs> this is hard! But he found something more. Trying to I play Diablo him. while cutting a fish is hard. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. I'm gonna cut my he hand said off. Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged oh, it's starting to take over. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Tobin. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. I know that all these stories end badly, so I'm trying not to get too excited, but this is cool. Play. He talked about starting a band. 
and he was always humming something. Every day or cuts his hand off. Until he just gets lost in the mix here. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. Whoops. And he won. Oh my god, he did the flagpole for Mario. To stay, but his mind was already wandering. Where is he? It became a game for him. He's full blown. He's gone now. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. This is so hard to do, guys. Like, playing two different games with each each one with a different thumbstick. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. The light's on, but nobody's home, so they say. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Handsome queen or beautiful prince? Handsome her... queen. Queen was on her own quest for sinister serpents. Sinister serpents. She followed the sound of her uh, silver harp. Silver Harp. Trying to stay on the path and do this at the same time while chopping fish. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. All of a sudden, he can't see anything but the he fish. The world was all in his imagination. Oh my god, guys, this is so crazy. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. If that drops some frames, I'm sorry. It dropped frames here too. Like the game froze for a second, but there's just so much going on right someone now. Someone who'd never known success in the real world. I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Oh my god, that was so... That was so weird. <laughs> oh gee, I wonder which locker is his. Began to forget the world we know. Look, he had a DS, but it, it's a single screen. Oh 
One second. Okay. There's the Chinese stuff food to take out. Yeah, one DS. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Yummy, yummy fish heads. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Wait, if that's him, then who am I? His name's Finch. So who am I? Do I walk up here? I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Oh my god, he lost his mind! He thinks he's going up the golden staircase! The palace would be packed with his companions. Oh my... This is not looking good. Cat! Look at the big cat! Including the wise calico who'd insisted on advising. Look at that thing! Oh, that's Molly! It's Molly! only one thing left to do. Faceless dudes are creepy. No! That's a guillotine! That's that's a guillotine! Don't do it! I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son, was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. That was the crown on top of the grave. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. <laughs> 